I posted these videos on TikTok and uh, they did okay. So I'm just going to throw them up here and see if it's the kind of content you're interested in or not. Just as a test. Uh, let me know what you think. I saw that my comment about Stonehenge got a lot of attention, so I thought I'd do a follow-up video on it. Stonehenge was erected in the 50s. Uh, that's not a conspiracy theory. Uh, it's well documented. You can check uh, EnglishHeritage.org.uk if you want. Uh, there are photos of it being put up with a crane. Uh, those are not fake photos. Those are legit. But it's all about belief. Whatever you want to believe. If you visit Stonehenge with your young child, and your child asks, how did they get that big rock up there? Well, the true answer is by crane. And if they ask, how did they stand up all those big rocks? Also by crane. If they ask, how come those rocks don't fall over? Well, because they're set in a bed of concrete. This is all true. But here's where the belief comes in. If you want to believe that in 3000 BC, with leather ropes and stone tools, they did erect a Stonehenge that looks just like the one we have now. It probably didn't stay standing long. Um, that's very soft soil and very heavy rocks. So without that bed of concrete, uh, the rocks tend to start falling over after a few months or a few years, unless they kept putting it back up. Most of these historical sites and ruins are like that. <laughs> Things fall apart and they have to be repaired, and when they are repaired, they're done using modern techniques and safety standards. Uh, you can't put the public at risk. So when you visit these sites, you'll see a lot of rebar, a lot of concrete, a lot of modern materials. It makes me wonder what's the point at seeing these sites. Why pay thousands of dollars for a plane ticket, hotel, and travel just to look at something that was built a couple decades ago. But as long as you look at things with clear eyes and an open mind, believe whatever you want. Yeah, it's accurate to say it was restored in the 50s. Um, here's an example. Some archaeologists come across a pile of rocks in the jungle spread out over a few hundred yards and they ask the uh, locals you know what was this and the locals say ma oh, temple so they clear the jungle and gather up the rocks and they assemble it into a pyramid it's accurate to say they restored that pyramid i mean there wasn't much there before just a pile of rocks, but it's accurate to say they restored it.